Nothing to hold you back. Cars out front and your bags are packed unless you want to stay. So I'm in the United States. And I uh, biked out of Port Angeles yesterday and I'm here on Crescent Lake. Beautiful. Camped out uh, in a park which uh, was sort of closed for the season. Beautiful thing about this highway is that you can press a button to warn the trucks. And some lights will flash. I uh, hope that uh, Manitoba follows their lead and maybe some other provinces. There's some really sketchy parts of some highways and it's a really simple way get people thinking about bicyclists as opposed to having a, a super wide shoulder which costs millions and millions of dollars and is pretty pretty ridiculous in my mind uh, we don't need to build bigger roads we need to build smaller roads and just be safer on those roads that we have is uh, my thought at least bike is uh, working pretty well body's working pretty well feeling pretty good so last night I got in here probably, I don't know, 7.30ish, right before sunset after a 12 hour a day I guess it was, which is not too uncommon for me, but uh, it's obviously a bit tired and then I pulled in, I pulled in to, onto some, uh, a little rocky patch over at the entrance and uh, when I went to dismount my bike, uh, I didn't quite get out of my pedals properly and I fell. I didn't draw any blood but I did get some blood bruises. Pretty interesting pattern right on my wrist here. And this is my same wrist that's actually been hurting. Yeah you can sort of see the, the, a little bit of swelling there. That's repetitive strain from rowing across from Port Angeles which is now um, almost two weeks ago. Surprisingly, right now, my wrist does not feel much pain at all, which is a really good sign. Uh, I'm feeling better about that, although this is probably going to be painful to bike with today. from the highest bridge in Oregon. 345 feet down. Champion cyclist here has a tick in his leg in the redwoods. Now, I would blow, blow it, it out. You think? Yeah, blow it or let him, yeah, let him do whatever. To catch him oh, don't worry, it's just some hair. Just let him do it. See, it's not liking the heat. He didn't back out, did he? No, but no. his legs were like moving. Yeah. <laughs> You just want to pull that sucker out. You don't have any string, eh? I don't know. String's not a good idea because what you what what could happen with string is you cut it in half and then you leave the head in. The best oh, thing to do right now is just pull this guy out. But I think that's the problem. If you pull him, then his head stays in. If you can get him all around the neck, then you pull out the neck at the same time. He didn't even move there. Is he burnt? Is he dead? I think he might be dead. Might have burnt him to death. He's not moving anymore. <laughs> oh, 
my gosh, he got him out. Sorry, we got the best part there. He did a great job yeah. getting him out of here. Nasty little creatures. <laughs> well, I'm here in uh, Richardson Grove State Park and had a pretty spooky dream last night. Uh, I don't really remember the details now, but not did not feel really good. And then I woke up and I was sleeping under one of these large uh, old uh, ancient redwood trees, probably, I don't know, 800 years old or so. And I had the sensation that uh, there was a cougar around. And that maybe even the cougar had walked right by me. And I was in a sleeping bag, just lying on top of my uh, thermarest outside. Um, a pretty vulnerable position, I'd say. Um, I thought about if a cougar jumped on me, how I would be able to fight back being inside a sleeping bag. It wasn't the greatest feeling or sensation to wake up to um, at, I don't know, three in the morning or something like that. I went back to sleep and it was all good. Now it's morning. I'm going to bike. I'm about 200 miles from San Francisco. Time to get going. That. While I'm either rowing on my butt or bicycle on my butt, I really need to wash as much as possible or else get, you know, like the chafe, the road rash. You gotta keep this butt looking good. You think I believe it? A fantastic tail like that? I imagine you find it incredible. Strongest tailwind of the whole trip on my pretty much final day. Very strong tailwind pushing me towards San Francisco. San Francisco, down at the marina, and there she is, I'm seeing her for the first time, Dulce, or Dolce. So stoked. Dude.